wrote a blog on the way home on Amtrak today, on actually scribbled it on a napkin, about um, how I had just um, gotten a new piano student up in El Cerrito, and you know I only knew that she had studied a few years, and I didn't know what she was going to bring. And it presented the opportunity or the challenge of, you know, being creative on your feet for the very first lesson, not knowing, you know, what music the student's bringing. And she actually brought um, two selections that I'd never played. What I learned from this is that how important sight reading skills are for a teacher and also one's background in being immersed in, in the literature, whether it be classical, romantic, or Baroque. Now, I knew that it was a piece by Haydn when she brought it. It was a minuet in D major by Haydn. And so I, I'm very familiar with the classical era performance practice, or at least how various um, phrases would be executed. And I mean whether you see staccato. Um, the first thing you see in this minuet is lots of staccato notes, but they're not to be taken really literally as very clipped notes, because the practice of the time was to make them a little longer. And so that's the first thing that I knew I had to point out to the student, who perhaps didn't realize that. And in the very beginning, it's in a minuet form or a trio. I'm not going to play the repeats, but just going through the minuet form, you see the minuet, the opening, the A section. And this is the, the theme in the beginning, and it's an arpeggio. So you would teach the student right away to open their hand in the shape of the first three notes, a triadic. And slowly it would be upbeat. Now this is how it executes those. No, I did not clip them. Now it, it leads to a quarters to a half note. The half note you can't enter too fast or it won't be a true half note. So I was suggested to the student that you should delay that. And then you have a series of legato notes. execution of it. And actually it's written out as, as I executed it, so that was not a problem. And the next section, a, a B section, um, it's like inverted because it starts out with a descending triad and now you have a little bit of, a, of an inversion, not quite exactly, but going in the opposite direction here. So that's interesting that a student has to do. Now this is me mezzo forte. indicated differently than the other trill I played. It's indicated as exactly this. sight read for me, but that's why sight reading is really important to, to becoming a good, a, a thorough learner, because it's your very first impact on the piece, and you might have a student that comes in with something and they've never, you know, never played it, so you have that sort of degree of, of 
presence of mind to, to analyze what, what's happening in the piece. And now the trio section, and as you would have in a minuet and trio form like in a symphony, um, it's contrasting form, it's legato. So that needs to be pointed out to the student how the character of it changes into legato. So slowly. section where it has some um, sequences that are so beautiful and creates tension because it gets higher and higher. So you have So that's just like an overview, but at least you're thinking creatively on your feet. And you can get in the very first lesson with a new student. So you make it a productive lesson for yourself and the student. 